to ASMR Whisper and let my body to sleep. Hello everybody. My name is Michael Kane. No, my name is Jason. Besides, if I was undoing my pants, I must be a giant because that's one heck of a zip. That's a long zip. I'd have to be about 20 foot tall. Uh, anyway, so. Yesterday was the 27th, so um, thank you for everyone that listens to my recordings, whether you're listening on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, CastBox, or any of the other uh, podcast providing applications. Or if you're listening on YouTube, welcome, thank you. Maybe you're listening on Amazon or Audible. So, yeah, I'm getting, um, I've been uploading, last week I've uploaded every single new recording up to YouTube in just a podcast format. So basically a picture on the screen and you just press play and people are listening so that's nice it's it's good to uh, it's good to talk that's good it's nice that people are listening it's uh, it's just on around videos and moving images, you know, video, movies, films and stuff, not just one single picture, and to be fair, the picture's not even particularly attractive either, it's just a podcast picture with the name of the podcast, episode. listening so thank you I appreciate that I mean to be fair why why would you even need a video to look at when you're listening to me it's, you know I I imagine most people would have their eyes closed anyway so it would make no difference a static image like it is if it was a twirly image of beautiful graphics or I don't know if it was a sausage dog um, juggling I mean what what difference does it really make to be honest so yeah so that's what I'm doing now just sharing each video, each podcast as it, as it happens, as 
it happens, as it happens, I'm sharing each podcast episode, and that's it. So yeah, that was boring, wasn't it? That was very boring. Blimey, I'm trying to think. This isn't an adult. <laughs> well, it is for adults, but it's not like an adult content podcast. Anyway, <sighs> that reminds me, I need to need to get some milk today. So. Whisper, let me put you to sleep. Because I do, I've now got back to doing the, just the normal let me put you to sleep podcasts every day. At least for the last nearly a week. And I've been doing those five years. And I haven't done many of these whisper was it about eight, seven, something like that, eight, so yeah, this is the ninth one, and the let me put you to sleep, just the standard ones, I've done 1,024, so I'm a little bit behind on these, <laughs> but um, I think one of the things I've I'm concerned about is the quality of the sound because even though I'm using good equipment with the whispering it just doesn't always sound brilliant to me it's maybe too quiet but then it's whispering it's supposed to be quiet isn't it whispering isn't supposed to be loud it's loud, it's no longer whispering. You know what I mean? It's like building a swimming pool and having a deep end and a shallow end, but having a shallow end ten foot deep. Well, it's not the shallow end anymore. Oh, it is because the deep end is forty foot deep. the deep end is deeper doesn't mean that you can deepen the shallow end. Well, I can do what I want. It's my swimming pool. No, I'm not saying you can't do that. But you, you, you can't really call it the shallow end. I can call it bing bong, bing bong, wee wong if I want. I can call it the chocolate hot spot if I want. I can call it whatever I want. It's my swimming I'm not saying you can't call it the shallow end, but it's it's not a correct description. You're not a correct description. Wow. That doesn't even make sense. Uh, but yeah, I, it's, it's not supposed to be loud, is it? 
ASMR shouting. Go, go into a field and literally shout <laughs> do a hypnosis session. But shout as loud as I can. Like, relax your feet. Relax your eyes. Your successful the problem is I don't think it'd be very good for my throat I don't want my throat you know people who shout generally end up with pretty croaky throats voices not everyone but people that I've known it's because it does it an effect on the vocal cords. People that shout and because of what I do all of my recordings are kind of based on speaking softly so I don't want to I mean I might my voice will change over time it has done and when I st when I first started making recordings online it was 2006 and I sounded like a I sounded like a four year old girl seriously I, d I have a very very young voice high pitched justice without talking normally although I wouldn't be talking normally because I'd be talking like a six year old girl not that talking like a six year old girl is not normal because six year old girls talking like a six year old girl would be normal but a 75 year old like me would not be slightly amusing or slightly disturbing or very disturbing maybe not against the law I don't think <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that I think I will backtrack and move forward somewhere else so yeah um, I don't even know what I was talking about to make a I need to do a stop smoking recording this week I haven't done one of those for a little while the last one was October last year and wow blimey see last one I did was number 15 outdated beliefs stop smoking relaxation hypnosis 18th of October 2022 I've had 3208 downloads of the 10 hour version 869 downloads of the 5 hour version 569 downloads of the 37 minute version with music and 455 downloads of just the standard without music Blime, I really didn't realise that the stats for the it's risen a lot recently 
So that podcast has got 80,766 downloads. And to stop smoking, but it's not that many episodes, not a huge amount of episodes. And I just didn't realise, didn't realise that the people were still like listening to that particular one every day. Not a huge amount, but every day people are listening. Possibly new people, you know. So, well, not new humans, because that would be babies. Hopefully, they wouldn't need to listen to something like that. Maybe something that appeals to people with the let me, with the stop smoking, is they are explicit, some of them. Explicit, I mean, I'm quiet. I don't hold back. I do put down their explicit on them so people know it's just adult content. Adult content, yeah. But I think that maybe, be, I don't know, maybe that helps. Maybe it doesn't. I really don't know. I'm not sure. So maybe I'll make another one. It's Friday today, so yeah. I think I'll do one today. I'm trying to kind of shake things up a bit, you know, I'm trying to be a bit a bit, a bit more productive. Because when I'm productive feel that I have accomplished something, that I have contributed something to the world in my own little way. And when I go to bed, the last two or three days, I've made three recordings a day. something with the day. Now, some people listening might think, well, three recordings, that's not a lot. Well, it kind of is. It is quite a lot. See, that's a good argument. You say no, I say yes. I win. Meh, meh, meh. And you might think, well, why would you win? I'm the one with the microphone. So, the reason, the reason why it does take a fair bit of energy and and time, it's not just the recording, it's the editing, and the whole process, processing afterwards, and sometimes a bit of preparation beforehand as well. Not so much with the let me bore you to sleep, but with the hypnosis ones, I I put a little bit of preparation in. Never used to, but I do a little bit more planning, not a huge amount. But now I kind of, I don't wing it the way I used to. I do 
sometimes I don't. For example, yesterday I did one recording uh, which involves a magic carpet which flies and I stuck to the idea pretty much. maybe 70% I stuck to what I was going to do. But I did a recording earlier, if it was yesterday or the day before, and it was going to involve time distortion. And I had an idea all set out. Once I started talking, it went in a completely different direction. And before I knew it, I'd finished the recording. It's almost like time literally distorted. <sighs> but I didn't talk about what I was, I talked about the subject. inspiration once I started and that often happens uh, I'll give you an example of my most I don't want to say inspired but recordings that I have that I did where I just talked off the cuff is the a podcast I call, I've got called Relaxation with Stress and Panic Attacks. And to be fair, I don't really get many, I don't get much people listening to that one. It's, I get a few a day, probably the same amount as the Stop Smoking one. I haven't made a new one on there since, blimey, May 2021, that's a long time isn't it, I need to pull my socks up for that one, but there's 230 recordings according to this, I don't know, is there really? 25, 24, 23. How can there be that many? That's weird. The thing about it is I don't remember making that many. I genuinely don't. I thought I did about 20. But I've done a lot more than that. So yeah, relaxation, hypnosis for stress, anxiety and panic attacks, or relaxation for stress and panic attacks. So, blimey, yeah, anyway, so I'm just looking, yeah, I started doing them in, I was down to number 75, so first one was, well, the first ones that I uploaded. Okay. I uploaded a lot on the 27th of April, 2020. Blimey. There's a lot. 
I started doing new ones again. So I guess that was on a different podcast and I put them all on this podcast. And then I started doing new ones on the 8th of May 2020. So I'd had 124 already done. The last being called 124 Intrusive Thoughts Are Just Thoughts, which was from the 24th of April 2020. And then the 8th of May, Relaxation Session. Thirteenth of May, one hundred and twenty-six. We are born positive, and blimey! So all the way through twenty, two thousand twenty, I was pretty busy with that podcast, and then for some reason, I stopped. a song I was going to, oh, I remember Zuku, I remember doing these recordings, and sometimes I, they weren't always the best sound quality, because I had this, I don't know what you call it, you know, those little, those little microphones that you stick to your collar, Lavi. Is it Lav? Um, Lavia. Lav Lavia uh, microphones, and it's. I'd be kind of walking up and down the room and talking and being quite animated, actually. And I, I found. around, I was able to uh, stimulate a kind of brain a bit, if you know what I mean. I tried. Lavia, I'm just trying to see if that's the right word. Lavia, Laviva, Lavia. Oh well, it's something. And that's quite a good podcast, actually. There's some recordings there that are pretty much hidden on the other podcasts because they're so long ago that they're the, the only way you're going to really see them is if you go to the relaxation for stress and panic attacks there's um, very similarly named I've got another one podcast hypnosis for stress and anxiety so it's a similar kind of name but that one's got all the updated recordings that I do don't worry this is not an advert I'm just just sort of kind of talking off the cuff, really. I was surprised at how many episodes there are. I don't know why I'm surprised. But I'm quite. I'd say some of that is. Some of those are the best recordings I've made on that other podcast. The 200 and whatever there was there. I think part of the reason for that is because there's two subjects that I'm very passionate about. One is chronic pain or chronic pain relief, chronic pain reduction. The other thing is stress and panic attacks because I went through for a few years that changed my life at the 
time I thought he'd ruined my life, but I'm here to celebrate he didn't ruin my life. But it was, uh, it was the panic attacks and the stress. I mean, I got signed off. Um, I got put on uh, antidepressants. stress because I'd been ill for 10 months and they didn't know what was wrong with me. I got examined and tested for everything, literally everything in the end. And they said, oh, must be stress. It's like, really? You put me on these antidepressants, one tablet a day. a stone in weight within about a month and couldn't believe it couldn't believe it really and but then 2002 November bang I started having the uh, old uh, anxiety panic attacks and last year they came back I couldn't figure it out but um, I think a lot of it was to do with losing Andre my little ferret and just I don't know just uh, I dealt with it and it wasn't as bad as what had been before but it was affecting come from just out of nowhere since I've had Vinny I've been fine from pretty much from that stuff I've got this theory and it might sound like a really weird theory I think that dogs maybe other animals as well focusing on dogs right now because I've got a little dog healing they're healing animals I feel like he's healing me physically healing me it's I've had him since December sniffle and that but no cold no really anything and there's something I mean it does wind me up but a lot of the time it's so relaxing and touching him and having my hand on his back is calming very calm and very I'd say calm So shall we look at, um, you really want to know about the dream? Okay, the dream. Well, I've been thinking about, uh, recently I've been thinking about past opportunities regarding relationships. Uh, there's been a couple of times when I just didn't. signals that were obvious this is when I was younger this is when I was a juicy handsome young man and this is a dried up old prune that I am now <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> an old prune it's uh, on 
I sleep, I be, I be dust. That's how old I am. Oh, I remember I went into uh, went into a museum in London. There was there was no one there. started welcoming me. Like, come in, come in. You're the right age. Just settle down. Do you want to be a painting? Do you want to be... None of that happened. I don't really care. Why? Why did I say that? Who knows? No one will ever know. Should we have a look at the news? <laughs> that would cheer us up. Especially with news places like you know BBC or the newspapers, even the uplifting stories tend to be kind of horrible things, like diseases and stuff like that. Oh, this person with a disease has just been done this and accomplished this and like okay it's brilliant but can we get some stories that doesn't involve anything that's just just something that's nice nice maybe I'm looking for a Disney a Disney news story maybe maybe that is what I'm looking for but it's only this, it's not like for the whole of the world, it's just, oh look, teacher retires after almost 50 years at same school, shouldn't that be at the same school, now he's shown himself a picture of him 50 years ago, and he's a school So he must have gone straight from school to being a teacher. Wow, good for him. Now if, he, if he's retirement age, he's doing really well because he looks lovely. He's got a very young face. So, Mungo, Munro, back in teddy bear, rescued from Glencoe.
falling off a cliff changed my life. Oh, sorry. Changed my life for the better. Again, that's, you see what I mean? It's, it's an uplifting story, but there's still that dark part of it. You know, it's brilliant that she survived and everything, but place for lottery players. Uh, former prisoner secures first job after 22 years. Cool. That was nice. star gives 5,000 to charity football match I don't know who that is farm a farm welcomes rare lambs after an ooh jump spell It's not really that impressive. Anyone could jump over a pen or a pencil. As long as it's not sticking up. Uh, a stranger I met at the beach gave me her kidney. And you can look at that in different ways, can't you? That's an amazing thing. Or I just came here to sunbathe. Just need. I don't want your kidney. Thanks. You know you have to call the police. Woman gives away wedding dress. Woman gives away wedding dress to budgeting brides. says he still loves his job. Good for you. Put a club in their hand and it transforms them. That sounds weird. Put a club in the old golf club. Just trying to find any more. No, there's no more. That's it. That's as that's as far as they're willing to do. Okay, tenth of July, two thousand twenty-three. Feel good news from the Mirror newspaper. These are f these are. A feel good stories, yeah. Feel good news, it says. A boy eight raises 50,000 for Waffle House waiter, forced to walk miles to work. Like, that is a, that's a nice story, I guess. Let's have a look. License to own a unicorn in the garden, but she has to find one first. That is just word salad. I don't know what that was. A woman who can't smile defies belief that she.
she finds self-confidence and becomes a model. Okay. Um. Okay, neurological disorder means she can't smile. I've not heard of that before. So she signed a modelling contract. So underdevelopment of facial nerves. She's a Paralympian. Okay, cool. She's from New Zealand. I don't know what the relevance of she's from New Zealand is, but, you know, I do wonder what it's like to live there. in the UK people wouldn't even notice that you couldn't smile we don't walk around smiling in this country generally an alarm just went off but it uh, sounded like a car alarm in the distance it sounded a bit like a taser through that story and I can't really see the point of it. I can't see what they're kind of getting to. A woman forms bond with a squirrel she helped raise and now won't go back to the wild. Now that's something I love. I love stories like that. Just animals. There's something special about animals. used to have uh, a ferret called Vinny. Vinny, Andre rather. I get muddled up between the two of them. Because they're both little and annoying. I was Andre. And I had him for about five years. And before I got him, just thought that animals like that were just almost dumb and just, you know, I didn't realise that they had personalities. They really do. And he was, uh, ended up being the love of my life, really. He was so, so much fun. Just fifty-two thousand pound. Um, now here's one great grandma. This is from the ninth of June last year. Great grandma. One hundred and two has dream birthday as ballroom dancer sweeps her other feet. Okay, I'm just having a look. The great grandma who learned to dance at the age of seven has loved dancing since she was a child. Just said she learned at the age of seven. She wouldn't have done it if she hated it, would she? Oh, repeating yourself. And she was very happy to have the chance to dance with David for her birthday. 102 years old. Blimey. He's wearing a mask. 
ask. South Africa and moved to the UK as a child to go to school. Mother to two children who are now both in their 70s. The keen dancer. We know she likes dancing. Why do you keep mentioning it? Has seven grandchildren and 13 great grandchildren. competitively in ballroom and Latin American dance for nearly 10 years when she was younger. Cool. That's just it's lovely, isn't it, really? And there's an advert there for Heinz Classic Barbecue Smoky Sauce. Barbecue Sauce. Because that fits together with the story. The resident also celebrated a special day with tea and cake. Okay, we've got a story here. I've been growing my 12 inch nails for 30 years. I love the attention they This is from the 8th of June 2022 on the mirror. Okay, I have <laughs> I have questions, but let's face it, I have exactly the same questions as what everybody else is thinking. How does she wipe her bum? It's actually impossible. And there's some questions on it. I bet they're asking the same thing. How does she wipe herself after using the toilet? Okay. It's her thing and her to nobody, so don't be unkind. See, I wasn't being unkind. That's the, the comments that people were leaving. I do, however, that is the question. It's a practical question, not like an unkind question. It's like, how, how do you function with nails that long? I mean, it, it, how? Just going shopping. see is either when you pick your nose or you're constipated got a solution for both those situations <laughs> or you want to scratch your back blimey you can scratch your back and still hurt your hands on your lap at the longest her nails were 16 inches what did she do for a living? That's what I want to know. What kind of job can she do with nails like that? Unless that is her job. Okay. She has to do some tasks such as doing the washing up and scrolling on her phone with her knuckles. She wouldn't change the look for the says about having super long nails is the attention. I mean, you can walk around with a dog poo on your head, you get attention. It doesn't, attention's not always a good thing. Maybe. Okay, I've only done it once. It's really sad because 
is no one noticed. I was very disappointed. Okay. So she's she let her nails grow a bit. It took didn't take very long from the sounds of it. says the worst thing about her long nails is the disrespectful questions people ask her such as how do you eat and how do you take care of yourself I, I mean I perhaps wouldn't ask directly but I would think it and I don't think it's disrespectful at all really because I'm not feeling um, negatively towards her I'm just curious how how I mean it's yeah it just doesn't seem it, it doesn't seem even like possible it must be I mean I wonder about people just have long nails anyway just normal long nails you know the ones that are popular and how do they function and get and do this all the stuff I guess you just adapt but then that would be weird if you think about it if you think well how would a really tall person because they might look short people and think how do you get by not being able to reach stuff off door off of shelves how you know someone that's six foot six might look down at someone that's four foot nine or five foot and you might wonder how 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 can you function in the world being so short but it's easy you know, just we adapt. I'm not five foot, but I'm not six foot six either. I'm three foot nine. Stop judging me. Uh, I get called a catfish for my makeup looks, but I'm comfortable in my own skin. A woman mortified after s discovering. Let's have a look at this one. I get called a catfish. Um, right, wait a minute. What? Blimey. Now that's that's weird um Julia Grandoni has been called a catfish online for her impressive makeup transformation videos but has insisted she feels perfectly comfortable in her own skin a woman who has been dubbed a catfish for sharing makeup transformation videos has stood up to uh, she's being comfortable blah she's repeating herself here Julia blah went viral after she took part in a trend on TikTok in which she shared a clip of herself in full makeup and a tight black dress as she prepared for a night out on the town the video then showed the cut Julia lying in the bed Without any makeup to show the extremes of her transformation. I mean, I'm not going to say anything disrespectful, but how does she? <laughs> how does she function? No, it really look, looks like. photographed and the other ones just 
mobile phone, uh, a selfie in bed or whatever. And it's, it is interesting. Just I don't know what it's like to wear makeup generally. I've worn makeup when I was at school. That was just to annoy the annoy the boys. <laughs> this is in the eighties and it was a very small minded community, so uh, how can I wind up people? I know I wear makeup. What are you gonna do? Nothing. Well I was wrong. I used to do drama classes and I wore makeup. I used to wear dresses and things like that. I remember my teacher once saying, you know, the role doesn't need you to wear a dress. Now, I know, I just love wearing dresses. I'm like quite freeing, quite loose to be able to just move around, you know, without the constriction of trousers. Yeah, and I used to quite like it. If you wear a dress, you can let off a far a bit more subtly because if you're wearing trousers, you literally have to bend over and lift one of your legs up. or a skirt you can just just walk and open your legs a bit wider and just let it pop out let it just just free it release it gently instead of making a scene because you know if you wear men I don't know why but boys it's expected seem to feel the, the urge to announce farts. We boys, men, for some reason it's, it's like a big event. It's like a national day of farting. It's like I'm about this, got the most important information, the most important thing that's ever happened. Everyone stop what you're doing and listen. And you just bend over, pull your leg up and let a big smelly sound out. Generally, I've not many, met many women that do that. I'm sure there are millions. I just haven't met millions. The millions that do. I've met 15 that don't. Maybe 17. It is interesting how someone can be transformed. I, I remember I worked with someone, uh, this lady, and I saw her outside of work. And I walked right past her. She wasn't wearing any makeup. And I literally just walked right past her. And she called me back. She said, she said, I'm not, I'm not wearing makeup. Like, she said, you, you just walked right past me. I said, you're not wearing any makeup. And she said, did you not recognize me? And I said, yeah, I just didn't want to talk to you. But she looks so different. some women, like younger women that I've worked with, and they look, I 
I've seen I've gone into their Facebook pages they've invited me by the way I'm not just being weird they didn't invite me and it's almost like a different person in each picture if I show you of me in different scenarios over the last 12 months you will see that it's me it's the same big fat red face it's me it's you know but I've known people where you would look at those pictures and it could be 20 30 different people making me want to go and get some makeup perhaps I should do that perhaps I should you know get myself some makeup get myself some makeup think I could do with um, dyeing my hair getting rid of the grey especially in my beard but if I got rid of the grey in my hair and my beard I would possibly look younger but I kind of get worried because I think I'm too handsome already it's not fair on everyone else to have someone like me so handsome walking around if I got rid of the greys and I became even more beautiful I just think it it wouldn't be fair really <laughs> can you imagine if anyone actually thought I was being serious he's picking up himself he keeps saying how beautiful he is joking blimey so that's it really I'm just uh, let's just have a look look see if there's any more stories that are nice okay half post half post you need to see so this is a half Huffingtonpost.co.uk Eight of the best Okay, eight of the best animal stories that will make you smile uh, This is nice Chris Evans becomes Captain America. This is from 2020. Blimey. Um, let me just say this sister from. Okay, so he became Captain America for a little six year old hero. That is so cool. Oh, that's lovely. There's nothing else there. Blimey. Good news alert. Six positive things that have happened this week. This is countryliving.com. Okay. There's one that is, that is good. First white tailed eagle in 240 years fledges in England. Magnificent. 
this is Bill, aren't they? Eagles. I think all birds are prey, but there's something eagles, there's that power, such powerful birds. Blimey. The Beside Meteor Shower 2023 began. One of the brightest is called Perseids. 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 One of the brightest meteor showers of the year. I rarely see meteor showers. I see the odd meteorite, you know, at night. Problem with that is I have to look up and I'm a bit lazy. The shower runs from the 17th of July to the 24th of August. National Park success in creating new wildlife habitats. That's nice. Award. An award is given to a cat who helped its deaf owner hear. Oh. How lovely. name acts as a friendly hearing aid for his owner. Animals are amazing, aren't they? That's it pretty much. I can't see anything else. is how to clean instantly clogged shower drain results will surprise you is that baking soda looks like he's putting baking soda in oh well that's uh, that's it I think try to look through other see if there's any other stories of positivity but um, I want basically it to be all filters safe search you can't change your safe search settings ok that's not really what I wanted to do anyway just all filters, any time, past hour, okay, weird news, news, financial, weird news, sky, okay, strange and odd stories, this is both in the past hour, rare synchronised, by three whales so three whales were synchronised ok we had to wing it British Airways serves KFC to passengers after issue with in-flight meals I'm pretty sure a lot of people It's almost like, wow, especially if it's a short flight, you get a KFC, I'll be happy with that. But I'm a vegetarian, so it's probably not perfect for me, but, you know, apart from being a vegetarian, I'd be happy with that. If I wasn't a vegetarian, oh, nice KFC. object on Australian beach could be space junk blimey how killer whale mother 
Warriors keep their calves out of fights. I think we've got to stop killing them, stop, stop giving them that name. It's not a very optimistic name to give a whale, is it? What a singer divorces devilishly handsome ghost after after less than a year. So the ghost left her. You know you reached you <laughs> It's 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 not a good sign of your dating life, is it? If you end up having to not only marry a ghost but then the ghost leaves you if you get dumped by a ghost. I mean, come on. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, look at this. A Jack Russell rescued after plunging from one of UK's highest waterfalls. That's enough about Vinny. <laughs> so my, my Vinny's a little Jack Russell. Blimey. It's a funny old, it's a funny little thing. I'm just seeing if there's anything else. Look at this. A one hundred and twenty one. One hundred and twenty one year old Cadbury chocolate. So it's in a little tin and it's got the king and queen on there. I don't know which king and queen is a hundred and twenty one years old. I want it, I want it, I really, really want it. has a picture of it with someone touching it. Okay. Not only that, there's a picture of someone with it open. And so it clearly has been touched. Perfectly preserved sweets were made by Cadbury to celebrate the coronation of King Edward D. V1, VII and Queen Alexandra in 1902. They were given to nine-year-old Mary Ann Blackmore to her school that year, but instead of eating them, she decided to keep them as a memento of the occasion. Vanilla chocolate, blimey, they were passed down through her family until her granddaughter, aged 72, brought the tin to Hanson Auctioneer in So the auctioneer said back in that time, this was a real treat. Children never got chocolate. Well, they must do because she did. It was obviously such a special gift to this little girl that she thought she couldn't even touch it. They expected to fetch at least 100 to 150 pound. When is this? When the sold. I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. I really want it, I really do. I really, 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 really do. I'm not joking, I really want it. <sighs> Never mind. That's it for me. For another day. For another day. Thank you for listening. Remember to be kind to yourself because
some things we say to ourselves that we wouldn't say to a child but I'm talking about horrible things that are because words do harm harmful words do harm nice words positive words create positivity lecture is now over thank you for listening Lots of love.